Hello everyone and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. We've got a really simple mixed operations uh, problem here that mixes addition uh, with multiplication. Uh, and the problem we've got is 2 plus 2 times 4 equals what? Um, again, as in the other videos, if you'd like to try to work this one out for yourself, uh, you can pause the video now and uh, we'll come back and work this one out together. All right, so multiplication has precedence over addition. Um, hopefully you recall that one from elementary school, primary school. Um, this is a concept that's learned fairly early. Um, I know in, in North American elementary school, I would have to say by at least the fourth grade, uh, if not earlier. Um, and this is the, um, that multiplication has precedence. So the first operation that we would solve would be the 2 times 4. Uh, 2 times 4 is 8. Uh, 2 plus 8 equals 10. Um, so fairly fairly simple, um, not much to that. And um, you've got, um, in addition, you can remember that uh, multiplication is just a shorthand for uh, repeated addition. So I could write the 2 times 4 as simply 4 plus 4, uh, which is what I've done here. Well, 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10. Uh, so you do end up uh, with the same answer of 10. All right, another thing I want to do here is I want to quickly review uh, calculators and how those work. I know a lot of times uh, people will say, well, my calculator gives me the answer of 16 instead of 10. Why is that? Um, well, here's an example of using uh, the standard mode calculator on a Windows computer. Um, this could be Windows 7, Windows 10. Uh, this just happens to be Windows 11, very similar calculator. Uh, but if I start out and I just type 2 plus 2 times 4 equals, I end up with 16. Uh, and you'll see that what I've got here, it just leaves me the 4 times 4 is 16. Um, so what, what this calculator is doing is it's basically taking 2 plus 2 and getting 4, and then taking 4 times 4 and getting 16. Um, so it's act, actually acting as if it's pressing the equal sign after every operation. So what it's really doing is it's going 2 plus 2 equals and then 4 times 4 equals. So it's really inserting two equal signs in there, which is not what we're trying to solve. We're trying to solve 2 plus 2 times 4. Um, now, the reason for this is that this calculator in standard mode on a Windows PC uses what's called immediate execution mode. And immediate execution mode uh, does exactly what I explained. It doesn't it doesn't solve um, multiple operations directly. You would actually have to do the multiplication first, or you'd have to enter it in the calculator as if, you know, 2 times 4 is 8, and then 8 plus 2 is 10. Um, so in, order, in other words, you'd have to take this problem and say 2 times 4 plus 2 equals. Now you do get 10 when you do it that way. So um, you can either do it that way or you can use memory store and recall functions, uh, however you want to do it. But basically, if you're going to use the calculator in this mode, you already have to understand the order of operations. Uh, but what I often see is I'll see people say, well, the answer is 16. Uh, my calculator said so. Uh, the problem is that they're using their calculator, but they don't understand the order of operations. And so they're getting confused. Um, you can take the calculator uh, on a Windows PC, switch it to scientific right there, uh, and then what happens is that it will solve multiple operations directly. It's not magic. This is just how, how it works. Uh, it's an unfortunate thing that Microsoft does this. I think uh, the standard mode is um, the, the default mode of the calculator, 
and they don't really explain the fact that it uses immediate execution mode but uh, let's take it uh, here in scientific mode and enter the problem again two plus two times four equals ten and you'll see that the way that it's written out it does say two plus two times four equals ten so we're not using that immediate execution it's actually writing the whole thing out just as it should uh, and you're getting the correct answer of 10. Uh, now you could also use an Android phone calculator uh, or any other you know uh, scientific calculator it will give you the answer of 10. Um, keep in mind that some cheap dollar store calculators um, also don't uh, they basically work in, in immediate execution mode or in other words they don't have what's known as an internal stack chain so they 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 don't process um, multiple operations directly in the same way uh, that the standard mode calculator on a Windows PC doesn't either. So I hope that's been helpful. I hope I cleared that up uh, because a lot of people will say, well, just use a calculator if you don't understand it. Well, <laughs> that that's great as long as you understand how your calculator works and it's fine to use a calculator if you understand what the order of operations is. Um, so again, I hope this has been helpful. Uh, if the video has been helpful, please give it a like. Uh, please, uh, please share with the video with others if you'd like. And um, again, if it's been helpful, please consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. Um, uh, in the meantime, have a great day. Have a great week. Have a great month. I uh, hope everybody's doing well, and I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.